Hey, what's up everybody? In this video, you're gonna be learning what is the best brain supplement to take to increase your memory, your learning, and your focus. Hey everybody, welcome to Just Ask Amir Show. And this week's episode, I got a question from Nathan, the Night Fairchild, and his question is, I've been looking into taking the brain supplement Paracetam. However, I have found several other newer Rastam families. Is newer better and what is the difference between the three? Nathan, that is a fantastic question. Now, for everyone listening out there, what Rastams are, they're called nootropics. They're brain supplements to increase memory, cognitive skill, focus, and many different other areas of brain performance. Now, the difference between the Rastam families is quite simple. One may be for increased memory, another one for focus and concentration, another one may be it has better delivery system. So the first question is you have to find out what your goals are. Do you want to increase your memory or do you want to increase speed of your brain or do you want spatial uh, increase? So there's so many different areas you got to focus on. So I highly recommend that you first figure out the area that you want to focus on. Now the second difference is the deliverability of the Rastam families. The original Rastam, Paracetam, actually has a low degree of del uh, delivering to your brain because there is a mechanism called the blood-brain barrier that a supplement, anything you digest and take in has to pass this BBB system to get to your brain. That being said, I've actually come put together a comprehensive uh, supplemental or nootropic uh, list that I think is quite beneficial, generally speaking. So if you want to improve your memory, improve your learning, improve uh, uh, concentration, and so forth. So my favorite racetam of anything is Oxaracetam, and the reason why I love it, it's actually really good at delivering to your brain. So by it passes the blood-brain barrier, it actually increases ATP, which is what you need, adenosine triphosphate for mitochondria. So one, it's good for brain health. Two, it's good for mitochondria health. But here's a caveat. I always care about delivering the substances to your brain. So I'll couple that with uh, alpha GPC, which is a choline, uh, acetyl L-carnitine, which is shown to shuttle uh, molecules and shuttle the vitamins and nutrients with inside the mitochondria, such as a taxi driver. And also, I would highly recommend that you add methyl, uh, methylcobalamin B12 with some folate in conjunction with liposomal magnesium. Now, this is a good stack to take. I would experiment with different dosaging, timing wise, maybe take it right away when you wake up and right before bed. Also, it's really important considering we are water, we are H2O, and for your brain to function properly, you need to be hydrated, intracellularly hydrated. So I would highly recommend that you drink structured water, trace mineral water with lemon all day, maybe some baking soda to deliver it better. And combine this all together and I'm, I'm pretty sure that you're going to feel a million dollars better. So Nathan, I really hope that I answer the question as much as I can for you. And uh, for everybody out there listening and watching right now, if you want for more information about what I do and everything that I preach about, just head over to amirrosic.com. The link will be uh, right here. And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Leave some comments because I'll be answering your guys' question every single week and just ask Amir. So if you leave your questions below, I will try my best to answer them. Have an amazing week, my friends. Catch you soon. I need to increase brain power. The Rasatan family.